Well, hi everyone. You know, I've been asked to make a statement about Corona with everything that's been going on. And you know, I gotta tell you, I was on to Corona beer before it became so trendy. When I was living in Boulder and I was eating at Senior Miguel's restaurant with my brother. Honey, 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 honey. What? It's not about the beer. Oh. There's a virus called Corona. Oh, 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 okay. Well, the coronavirus. So at any rate, you know, the coronavirus, when you really look at the symptoms, it's all about breathing. So there is a challenge that people are having uh, with the breath, labored breath, shortness of breath, and so forth. If you express the virus and it becomes COVID-19. But what I'd like to recommend to everyone anyway is because of the hysteria and the anxiety and the lack of toilet paper and everything that's going on, even at your big box stores, if you can't get your toilet paper at a box store, you got a problem. Let's start with a simple practice of just breathing. And what I'd like to recommend to you is just take both of your hands and put them over your lower abdomen. You can put them over your umbilicus or you can put them just below your umbilicus, between your umbilicus and your pubic bone. And what I would recommend is we can just take a moment and close our eyes and just let the respiratory diaphragm drop down. Anxiety creates shortness of breath naturally and it causes a contraction in the respiratory diaphragm. Your respiratory diaphragm is connected to a large group of muscles in your abdomen called the transversus abdominis so that when you breathe in proper breathing includes the entire abdomen moving out naturally and as you exhale just falling back naturally so what i would recommend whenever you feel any anxiousness regarding this coronavirus that you simply put your hands over your lower abdomen and take a few slow breaths not a forceful breath but just a slow breath and just see if you can get your hands to move out as you inhale and then as you exhale. So we can try that for a few moments and I'd like to leave you with a joke about the age of reason because it would seem to me from what I've seen in at least five or six conspiracy theories now in the last week about the coronavirus that we've kind of lost a little bit of common sense. So I'd like to read from you from my favorite joke book. Plato and Platypus walk into a bar and reason versus revelation. So how do we know anything at all if in fact we do know anything at all? During the Middle Ages, this question boiled down to whether divine revelation trumps reason as a source of human knowledge or vice versa. And here's the joke. <laughs> a man stumbles into a deep well and plummets a hundred feet before grasping a spindly root, stopping his fall. His grip grows weaker and weaker, and in his desperation he cries out, Is there anybody up there? He looks up, and all he can see is a circle of sky. Suddenly, the clouds part, and a beam of light shines down on him. A deep voice thunders, I, the Lord, am here. Let go of the root and I will save you. The man thinks for a moment and then yells, is there anybody else up there? <laughs> Hanging by a root has a tendency to tip the scales towards reason. In the 17th century, Rene Descartes opted for reason over a divine source of knowledge. Mm -hmm. This can be known as putting Descartes before the source. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, my love.